it's called a 2900 series. There were 30 locomotives in the 2900 series. Uh, this will be the only one that's restored. Uh, it was built during the war, so it's heavier than all the others because all the light, light metal parts were being used for aircraft. Light metals were being used for aircraft. So it's got heavier rods and other things uh, to make, so it's a very heavy locomotive. That's why the weight is, as I said, it's just under a million pounds when it's full of water and full of oil. It's living history. You know, all of this, all, all of these locomotives were as common as today's 18-wheelers or Greyhound buses. And there were, there were literally hundreds and thousands of steam locomotives running when steam was the primary source of power for the railroads. And they were all built without CNC machines slide rule technology, most of the parts are interchangeable by model, and it's, it's really quite unbelievable that they were able to have the consistency that they had and the craftsmanship that they used to build these things, and it, it's, it's honestly an honor to be able to help maintain it and preserve it and show it to the next generation. So it's, it's local, which is really cool, uh, and this locomotive specifically has a very deep connection to the city and the state of New Mexico. Uh, we had, you know, before the railroad came to New Mexico, New Mexico was a pretty isolated place. But once it came, it opened up the state to economy, to movement, uh, and people, tourism. So railroads played a critical part in, in New Mexico history. I love the people here. We are a good people-oriented organization, and I would recommend it to anybody. We're going to need people for marketing. We're going to need people doing social networking, all kinds of things. So we still need a lot of people. I think that our organization is really rather welcoming and uh, it's really trying to reach out and get more women involved. It's an amazing opportunity to really get some hands-on experience to do stuff that is you don't really have a chance to do anywhere else. And I think that I would highly encourage any female to come out and try. We really want to run as a, as a train where we can, we can pull people, probably initially from Albuquerque to, Santa Fe, uh, to Las Vegas, pulling, pulling passengers. Um, and and that, would be our, that would be our ultimate goal, uh, to actually do revenue, revenue travels in New Mexico. Some people have taken these sorts of locomotives and does what's called a cosmetic restoration, say, to put it back in the park. No, we're going to run it. We're going to run it. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't have had to overhaul all the parts and do this sort of work.